What's up guys, Matt Devlin here, and uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the Fusion Z300, not the 400 or whatever, 350, I don't know what it's called, but this is a 300. So basically I'm just going to go, it's going to be like a screw check, except I'm going to give my opinion on each individual part on ah, the complete scooter. So starting off with like the bar ends. Uh, they're kind of like cheapy looking bar ends. If I fold the grip a little, you can see they're just like thin plastic bar ends that like seem like they could break easily. So, I don't know, those are just okay. The grips have like the same style as like those Lucky Grips that came out like last year. So they have like the same look and feel as them, but they like last as long as ODI. So I think the bar grips are pretty good. Uh, the bars, I personally don't think are like all that great. I mean, I'm sure they're strong and stuff, but like, I don't know, I just don't like the dimensions of them or the way they look, so, just me personally. The clamp just looks like a generic triple clamp. Uh, sure, works fine, nice and strong. I mean, from when I've used it, it's been nice and strong, but uh, I don't know, it's just okay looking. Headset, I actually really like this headset. I don't know what it is. I think someone said it was a Neko, but I don't think so. Uh, it spins really nice and buttery. I like my headset nice and tight, and it still spins nice when it's tight, so really good on that. The fork is steel, supposedly, at least that's what it says on the box, and uh, it's pretty strong actually, I really, it's a nice fork, I mean, sure it's not the best looking, but it's a really nice fork. Uh, I think the wheels and bearings are honestly probably one of my favorite things about this entire scooter. Really amazing wheels, if I could buy these alone, I honestly would with the bearings, because they're just that great. Coming down to the deck, it's the view, uh, main event pretty much. The deck is really nice. I wish it was a little bit wider, but I can deal because I have an MFX 4.8, so it's like two scooters. But uh, the deck is actually really, really nice. It's pretty solid. It's good for finger whips, even though it's not completely flat. It's like nice and like divoted though, but you really can't tell the difference anyways. For grip tape, we have the Fusion grip tape, which is actually pretty nice, holding up pretty good so far. The brake is actually pretty good. The bolts screw in from the bottom. And uh, I don't know, it's a nice metal flex runner there. You have rubber on there, keep it nice and dialed. And then obviously the same wheels and uh, there's the back. Hardware is pretty nice. It's been holding up nice and strong. Hasn't stripped on me or anything, so that's always good. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, like, out of 10, I'd probably give this scooter like a solid 7 ish. Yeah, like a 7. But, uh,. I'd give it like an 8 or a 9 if it had better bars. Better bars and clamp. Grips can stay. If you got new barns, that'd be cool too. And uh, But for what you're paying for, it's either 100 or 200, I forget. I don't know, but what you're getting for, because you get a nice HIC kit, and it's really, really nice. So uh, I'll give you a quick drop test. Nice and dialed. So uh, yeah, that's it.